Hello, everyone. Good afternoon, and uh, thank you for being here. My name is Yuan Zhu, and uh, I am a first-year doctoral student in Tsinghua University. Today, I'm going to present our work, ALCAD, uh, Edge-Assisted multi jump Network for Real-Time Crowd Anomaly Detection. As the urban, urban populations continue to grow, the risk of the crowd disasters in cities is increasing such as the stamps. The stamps brought huge casualties and economical losses in many countries, such as China and Korea. Therefore, we hope to timely and accurate uh, detect the crowd disasters. John, also known as the UAV, offer a wider field of views and high mobilities, so they can be used to detect the anomalies in the crowd and report them via the web. Therefore, we propose to use the drones for the crowd anomaly detection, and we will call it CAD for short. Recently, feature-based CAD has gained popularities, comprising two stages, uh, person detection and feature analysis. In the person detection stage, a person detector is used to detect the person in the image. In the feature analysis stage, the mainstream technologies usually use different types of the feature to judge whether the person is abnormal, such as analyze the pose of the person or the velocity of the person. However, the mainstream technologies are usually used for the fixed cameras, which is not suitable for the flight drones. Our motivational studies shows the performance of the mainstream technologies on the drones. We use the drones to shoot the simulated crowds from different shooting distance and angles. Overall, the performance of the CAD will decrease with the increasing of the shooting distance and will change with the changing of the shooting angles. We also test the latency of task execution on, on the different computing devices. So in general, the CAD performance on the drones face many challenges, such as low performance and high latency, uh, which are mainly caused by the flight condition and limited computing resources of the drones. So by our motivational studies, we have the following three motivations. First, uh, we use multiply drones to collaborate on the CAD task uh, because multiply drones can provide a variety of shooting distance and shooting angles. So the drones can complement with each others. Second, we use the edge computing devices for assistance to provide more powerful uh, computing resources. Finally, we expect our solution can sense the flight condition of the drones, so we can uh, we try to achieve the fast and accurate CAD and to balance the workload of the multiply devices. So we designed the LCD. Uh, an edge-assisted multi drum network for real-time crowd anomaly detection. Here is an overview of our framework. LCD mainly consists of two types of devices, uh, a set of drums with the vision and computing capabilities, and a set of edge devices. One of the edge devices is selected uh, as the leader edge. LCD consists of three modules. On the drone side, we design the zoom detector, which can dynamically adjust the inference depths of the model uh, according to the shooting distance of the drones, just like a zoom camera. On the edge side, we use multi-feature analysis to uh, find the uh, anomaly occur in the cloud. In addition, we are designed a feature scheduler to assign different feature analysis tasks to the most suitable edge devices. Here is the pipeline of the zoom detector. Connect, uh, compared with the original detector, our zoom detector use additionally zoom and focus uh, blocks to sense the uh, shooting distance, which has three steps. 
First, the zoom detector used the inference blocks to get a feature map from an image. Then the zoom and focus block will focus on the important channels in the feature map and decides whether to continue inference. If the zoom and focus block decide to continue inference, the feature map will be passed to the next inference block. Uh, if it is desired to stop, uh, the feature maps from all the previous uh, inference blocks will be fused and output the final result, uh, that is detect the, the person. For our multi-device system, we designed the feature scheduler to balance the workload of each device. The scheduler is mainly composed of a decision agent and an environment agent. The scheduling process has four steps. First, the leader edge obtained the information of all devices and scheduled the following n tasks. For one task, the decision agent will make a decision for all drones, including the edge devices, uh, including the edge device for offloading and the feature task it will perform. Then the environment agent will provide an estimated state for the next ta task. After, after all tasks scheduled, the leader edge sends the uh, scheduling decision to all the devices to execute the feature analysis. We design a model assisted reinforcement learning to imp implement the scheduler. During training, the policy of the decision agent is trained using the target value estimated by the environment agent. And the environment agent fits the state transition of the environment by the MSC loss. When the decision is complete, we perform the scheduled feature analysis task on the edge devices. We mainly perform three types of feature analysis, uh, the velocity analysis, the pose anal analysis, and analysis. Uh, for the experimental of LCAD, we provide sufficient hardware support for LCAD. We use a variety of drones for data collection and real world examination uh, experiments, including uh, DJI's drones and the drones we assemble ourselves. We use the NVIDIA Jetson as the onboard device and the PC as the edge devices to implement our LCAD. We first test our LCAD on the data set. Uh, since there is no suitable data set for our test, we generate a new stamped data set uh, by a high quality cloud simulator. Uh, the data set contains a variety of anomalies that lead to the stamps, and we record them from different uh, shooting distance and shooting angles to simulate various drone wheels. On the simulation data, we compare ASAD with the mainstream CAD algorithms. Experimental results show that the LCAD has the highest accuracy compared with other algorithms. Benefit from the scheduler's work, uh, workload balancing, LCAD also has the lowest latencies for single task. In addition, we also uh, analyzed the impact of shooting parameters and framework on the performance of LCAD. The results show that uh, the LCAD is less affected by the shooting parameters, and the current computing framework has better performance than the baseline framework. We also test the LCAD in the real world. We recruited 10 volunteers to simulate the crowd anomalies on the playground, uh, such as falling uh, and uh, running away. The John captured the crowd from the different angles and distance. The results show that the LCD can respond to the anomaly in time and has high performance. In summary, our LCD has three main contributions. First, we design an edge-assisted multi-drone network for crowd anomaly detection. Second, we design flight awareness algorithms, including a zoom detector and a feature scheduler. Finally, we provide a new John View CAD dataset and test our solution by real world de de development and experiment. That's all. Thanks for your listening.